चेन से पढ़ना है तो जाग जाओ और इंडक्शन कुकर के बारे में जान जाओ टुडे वी हैव अ पैनलिस्ट इज मिस्टर अभिषेक आनंद एंड मिस्टर यश जैन हु विल टेल अस मोर अबाउट दिस अमेजिंग अप्लायंस सो अभिषेक प्लीज लेट आवर व्यूअर्स नो व्हाट इंडक्शन कुकर इज इंडक्शन कुकिंग हीट्स अ कुकिंग वेसल बाय इलेक्ट्रिकल इंडक्शन इन एन इंडक्शन कुकर अ कॉइल ऑफ कॉपर वायर इज प्लेस्ड अंडर द कुकिंग पॉट एंड एन अल्टरनेटिंग इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इज पास्ड थ्रू इट द रिजल्टिंग ऑसिलेटिंग मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंड्यूसेस अ मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स producing an eddy current in the ferrous pot which acts like the secondary winding of a transformer the eddy current flowing through the resistance of the pot heats it for this a cooking vessel must be made of certain ferromagnetic metal so now discuss about its benefits and limitations induction cooker has faster heating capabilities than conventional cooker so you are talking about the its heating capability capabilities but you must know that it also produces a humming noise when exposed to magnetic field oh that loss is not very significant when we see its higher thermal efficiency and so it is more energy efficient but the cookware used for it must be compatible with induction heating hence only ferrous metal can be heated we consider uniform heating by it as heat conducted in the vessel is directly proportional to the resistance so we can afford to have a separate cookware for it but we should also take into account the electromagnetic interference picked up by radio receiver so now let me tell you the most important thing how induction cooker works the elements electronics power a coil that produces a high frequency electromagnetic field as you can see in the point mark one in the adjacent diagram that field penetrates the metal of the ferrous cooking vessel and sets up an eddy current which generates heat the heat generated in the cooking vessel is transferred to the vessel's contents as soon as the vessel is removed from the element or the element turned off heat generation stops now you must be wondering that how the heat propagation how how the heat propagates so efficiently so let me tell you about that the heat that can be produced in a pot is a function of the surface resistance a higher surface resistance produces more heat for similar current the surface resistance in a thick metal conductor is proportional to the resistivity divided by the skin depth aluminum or copper alone does not work on an induction stove because of the materials magnetic and electrical properties aluminum aluminum and copper cookware are more conductive than steel and the skin depth in this materials is larger since they are non magnetic the current flows in a thicker layer in the metal and encounters less resistance and so produces less heat the induction cooker will not work efficiently with such pot as you can see in the picture household foil is much thinner than the skin depth in aluminum at the frequencies used by an induction cooker here the foil has melted where it was exposed to the air after steam formed under it cooking surface manufacturers prohibit the use of aluminum foil in contact with an induction cooking surface 